Thanks to a school pipe band that has won the Juvenile World Championship five times and an alumni band that is one of only two grade one pipe bands in the United States, St. Thomas Episcopal School is a household name throughout the piping and drumming world. But what is this incredibly successful Scottish musical arts program in Houston all about? How does the operation keep turning out highly skilled pipers and drummers in seemingly unlikely Texas in America's deep south? A parish school of St. Thomas Episcopal Church, St. Thomas Episcopal School is a fee-based pre-kindergarten to 12th grade institution. With a total enrollment of around 650 students, there are currently 156 kids involved in the piping and drumming program, most of whom start as raw beginners. There are many more pupils in the school's Highland Dancing program. While there are many sports teams and other extracurricular activities, there is no high school American football team at St. Thomas, a rarity in football mad Texas. But football adjacent marching bands are just as popular, so the idea of a pipe band might be understandable. Joining the pipe band program as an elective course is considered cool among St. Thomas students. The prospect of wearing the uniform and traveling around the United States and even to Scotland is certainly an extra attraction. There are no limits on how many kids can participate. Founded in 1955 with a strong Scottish connection, the school's piping and drumming program started shortly after. Almost from the outset, St. Thomas Episcopal School insisted on top flight instruction for its fledgling pipers and drummers. The legendary Donald Shaw Ramsey was a frequent instructor and highly accomplished full-time teachers like Campbell Naismith, Albert McMullen, Jeremy Freeman, Harry Isenzi, and Doug McRae have filled the piping roles through the decades. Local native and alum, Mike Cusack, is St. Thomas's most famous piping instructor. The most successful American solo piper in history, Cusack ran the program for many years before becoming headmaster, a position from which he retired in 2021. Today, the piping and drumming program is handled by band director and bagpipe instructor Lyric Toddkill, drumming instructors Graham Brown and Brandon Thomas, drumming instructor and band manager Andrew Elliott, all experienced grade one bandsmen and soloists. In 2018, Nick Hudson was recruited to join the program as a piping instructor. The 2022 Highland Society of London Northern Meeting Gold Medalist shares those duties with Todd Kill. We were fortunate to sit in on a piping practice at the school and got together with Hudson to discuss the St. Thomas program and some secrets to its great success. So it's um, an elective thing. Once they get to fourth grade, they can decide to do piping or drumming. And uh, I would say we get pretty good buy-in, generally. Like, probably 75% of the class will pick piping or drumming. Hmm. So they'll come twice a week for that, and it's just a big group class. Um, and then fifth grade is kind of more of the same. Sixth grade is when they start to break it down into smaller classes and stuff. And at that point, they're coming still twice a week, but it's longer classes. So instead of just two 40-minute classes, it'll be like an hour and a hour and ten minutes or so. And then at that point, most of the kids are getting into the pipe band. And so we have three levels of bands, roughly like a grade five, a grade four, and a grade three, um, or like a novice B, novice A, and juvenile band. And so. We do like half hour practice once a week with the beginning band and then an hour twice a week with the B band and then the top band we have like two hour and a half practices a week. So between the classes and after school band practice, most of the kids are in here for about like four hours or more a week, which is like super cool at the, at the top level. And then um, what is it like for this, the kids at school? Is, it, is the pipe band the cool thing to do? I wouldn't say it's the cool thing, but it's not the like the nerd thing. Either. You know, I think it's sort of you get some groups, of, uh, you get all types, and I think St. Thomas is maybe a little less than some schools where there's like the cool kids and dorks or something. It's not really; it doesn't have that vibe. Not that there's not a little bit of that type of thing, but we're small school, right? So a graduating class might only have 50, 60 people. So it's pretty close knit school. Um, I don't think you have quite the sort of social strata that you might have, you know, at a big school. Yeah, it's really cool because it takes your mind off of all your other subjects and it's just really fun to play. I like most about piping. I really love the sound of it and it's a very fun instrument to play. I like 
piping because it teaches you like so many skills, how to control your breathing, and it's just really fun to play and it sounds beautiful. Looking forward to going to Scotland. I'm excited to hang out with my friends there and play in the World Championships. It's going to be really fun. There's people that just like from like what drew me to it. There's that kind of wild sound, you know. Um, you get that. You get people like we're we're on campus practicing a lot, so kids do see us for you know from first grade to fourth grade before they have the opportunity to start. So I think that that's kind of cool. They're like surrounded by pipes. A lot of them kind of can sing, you know, the battle's over or something like that. You know, when they come in. Uh, but yeah, we definitely the trips excite people. It's not like we go to Scotland every year though, so they really have to have motivation to, about the music. It's not only the trips, but the trips are a good thing. We always go at least a couple trips every year. Um, like do one or two trips with the B band, and then we'll do like kind of two or three trips with the A band and try to get over to Scotland. This year we took the B band for the first time. Um, historically, we've only ever taken the top band. I think we're trying to go maybe alternate but try to get both bands going over more. And the level of instruction, it's, uh, do the kids realize that, I mean, it's world class? I mean, you're a Highland Society of London gold medalist and Lyric and, and Graham Brown is uh, an amazing drummer, you know, and uh, Andrew Elliott as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're lucky. Like, yeah. it's awesome. It's great for me to, f like, be able to work on a team, right, and, like, have these other great players. Uh, to work with. Do the kids realize it? The, the good ones do. It, you know, you only care if someone's good at something if you care about the thing, right? So uh, I think that's something that some kids respect, some kids might take for granted or something, but it's cool. I, I am always uh, like reminding myself about how lucky I am, uh, how easy it is to be a part of like a really good team, you know, and the, just being able to bounce ideas off each other. Uh, you know, I have a lot better ideas because they're refined by everyone else, you know, and, uh, you know, everyone, I think, has different things that they're good at and complement each other really well, so it's, a, it's, that's what I like most. I was teaching piping, you know, full-time before moving down here, but, like, being part of the teaching team is, like, the most fun part. It's not just me by myself.